Hello and welcome. Um, we already talked about groups before and let me very quickly go back to the basis. You know, we had this group very in the beginning when you were small and little, uh, like for instance the natural numbers and addition, and you learned when you were in the primary uh, that uh, 1 plus 2 equals 3 and so on. Now, and from there it developed as you know and uh, I used already the metaphor of galaxies explaining that we now are embarking in the discovery of all kind of new groups and um, let me invite you in this journey into the distant unknown of the mathematical universe and one of these galaxies we are going to explore today is the the group a special kind of groups named cyclic cyclic groups and uh, what what are they what is their beauty really and uh, what are their properties as well now uh, we'll start really simple with uh, the uh, set z of whole numbers and uh, we exclude the zero and we take only the first seven elements and um, the operation we choose is multiplication modulo seven now as you see the set we are looking at contains the elements uh, one two three four five, six, and seven, and uh, not seven, sorry, the first seven, except the zero gives me the set one to six. And uh, how would the Cayley table look like in this case? You see the table over here, and for instance, we have here uh, the multiplication, oops, the multiplication one, multiplied modulo 7 times 1 equals 1 so the remainder is 1 and to give you another example 3 multiplication modulo 7 3 gives me the number 9 if I divide it by 7 the remainder will be 2 and you see this here already in this uh, Cayley table that will be then this 2 and so on and so forth now uh, we were going to explore all kinds of uh, properties of this new set of groups and of, of course you see already the first property which is very easy to, to view and it's clear that uh, one uh, is the identity of this group. Again because one times modulo 7 uh, a equals a times modulo 7 1 equals a itself now what is so special uh, about this group and why do we call it cyclic now and to explain that I would like to remind you of the concept of order now this concept has two applications the first application was the order of a group which was simply the number of elements in this case the order will be six we have six elements in this group and then there was the order of an element and uh, or a number and uh, how did this go now to give you an example if I have two to the power one uh, that obviously is uh, 2 and if I divide it by 7 the remainder is 2. If I have 2 to the power 2 which means 2 multiplied modulo 7 2 the answer is 4 divided by 7 uh, gives me a remainder of 4. 2 to the power 3 means 2 times modulo 7 2 times modulo 7 2 which of course is 8 divided by 7 gives me a remainder 1 and therefore we say because we know now the power of 2 which gives me an answer 1 we say that the element 2 has an order of 
3. And uh, here we have already discovered uh, that very quickly in three steps. If you go uh, to the element 3, uh, it takes a little bit longer. Uh, so 3 to the power 1, of course, is 3 divided by 7 equals 3 as a remainder. Uh, 3 squared is 3 times modulo 7, 3 is 9 divided by 7 as a remainder 2. In the same sense, 3 to the power 3 is 27 uh, divided by 7 gives me the remainder 6. 27 minus 21. 3 to the power 4 then um, gives me 81, a remainder 4, 3 to the power 5. And at some point you think, well, this is never going to happen. Uh, A equals 5, and then 3 to the power 6 finally, uh, to my relief, gives me a remainder 1. So in this case, the order of the element 3 equals 6 being the power I need to get this remainder 1. Now, if we would make a table very quickly uh, of the elements of Z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the order of each element, then obviously um, 1 has, is of the order 1, uh, 2 is of the order 3, uh, 3 is of the order 6, 4 is of the order 3, uh, 5 is of the order 6, and 6 is of the order uh, 2. And now we come to the point that we see these hidden mechanisms that you don't expect at the first or don't see at the first sight but look at all these orders you see we knew the order of the group was six and if you look at the order of the elements they are all factors of six and it can be proven that it is true for every uh, finite uh, group. There's another issue that we need to touch upon and that's the definition. There are two elements which where the order of the element equals the order of the group. And I mean the element 3 and the element 5. And because their order equals the order of the group we have a special name for them, we call them generators. First of all, they are not unique. We have already here an example where we have two generators. Uh, the other speciality is if you look at the powers of these generators. I go back to my example 3, and if I go to this list, you see 3 to the power uh, 1 gives me a, a 3 being this element of the set I'm talking about. 3 to the power 2 gives me 2, which is this element of the set. 3 to the power 3 gives me 6, which is this element. 3 to the power 4 gives me 4. 3 to the power 5 gives me 5. And finally, 3 to the power 6 gives me 1. And there you have the cyclic, cyclic element of um, this group that uh, you see that all these powers of 3 uh, are pointing back to where they originally uh, 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 came from being the, the elements of the set I'm using. And there you have the cyclic element. It returns to its base. base. And you can check for yourself that the same is true uh, for the powers of 5. You will see the same uh, result over there. So the official definition of a cyclic group is 
um, when I have a set G and a certain star operation, um, then this group is cyclic if I have a generator G, in our example that was 3 and 5, and then if I look at the powers of G, where M is an element of Z, uh, then uh, for every element of G, every element X of G, there is a power so that X equals to G to the power M. So I had these uh, powers of 3, remember, and so on. And um, they all gave me, gave me elements of the set where I started with being uh, 3 and 2 and 6, etc. And it, this then is the definition of a cyclic group where G, in this case 3 and 5, are called the generators.